Hey YouTube, back again. Um, in this video, I want to speak a little bit about uh, what I termed the dark art of reciprocity. Okay, and um, I'm going to outline. Um, it was a was it a story or an analogy that I'd read, and it was really informative and quite insightful. Right, the story went like this. Um, think of. Um, a car salesman, okay, when you go to buy a car from a car salesman, how, how do they act? They're friendly, um, charming, typically. Um, you know, they try and make you feel quickly familiar, yeah? You see a car you want, the price is a bit high, so you're a bit... Mm, mm, mm. And the uh, car salesman's like, oh, uh, well, you know, do you know what I'm going to do for you? Do you know what I'm going to do for you? You came in today and da, da 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 and I'm having such a great week and I feel like this car really is for you, so I'm going to knock you off however many dollars, pounds. In our minds, when somebody does us a favour or has us feel like they're doing us a favour, uh, like I discussed in another video, it makes us feel that we need to reciprocate okay that story of the car salesman when he drops his price right it is kind of like a game because now he has you feeling that he's doing you a great favor because he wants you to have this car and it has us in the mind want to <laughs> again reciprocate by using that tactic, okay, it's actually got to the point where people have signed their name on their um, contract and they've bought the car because they felt that strongly that they need to reciprocate the kindness of the salesman, okay? So if that's so easily worked out that psychologically... They've had you feel that you need to buy this car because of the favour they've allegedly done by knocking a price off, right? Think of that in um, other interactions that we have with other people, okay? Once emotional intimacy is established, and it doesn't have to be in a romantic setting, as in um, a part with a, with a partner or someone that you uh, really love, okay, once emotional intimacy is established, which to my mind is established when it's established as the familiarity is built up, okay? There is a sense of emotional intimacy, okay? Because you feel like you know this person, you suddenly now feel like you re they really relate to you, you really relate to them, they get you, they have the same issues, same backstory, same trauma, same abuse story, whatever it is, right? has you feel in your mind that you've got this connection okay and it's that connection that's the problem because that's the point where manipulation is able to creep in okay so just pay attention when you're getting to know people keep those inner boundaries don't just assume because people act kind and caring that they are okay that's the best mask how many times do we all say, God, they never used to be like that. I can't believe that they're like this. I can't, I can't believe I never saw it before. They weren't like that at first because they were wearing the mask. All right. You were manipulated and fell for the mask. The mask slips because you try and pretend to be a way that you are not. Okay, try and pretend to be a way that your personality isn't. You're only going to be able to keep up that act for so long and cracks will show. You will start to see cracks in the mask, in the behaviours. The personality, the real personality seeps out, all right? But it, that only happens over time because manipulators, they're not going to really, they're not going to, if they show you who they really are, they're not going to get what they need from other individuals. They're not going to receive the fuel that they may need, that they crave, that they that they literally need to exist. So they do act kind, caring, warm and charming, right? But you've known them five minutes. 
how do you know that that's really them? So what I'm saying is just pay attention to once emotional intimacy is established with another individual, that is our vulnerability to where manipulation can creep in, right? So just pay attention to that. And be cautious of people coming to you repeatedly with an emotional backstory or an illness, right? They're the two main things that I see on YouTube used to manipulate others. Yeah, they're the two most commonly used. An illness or um, an emotional state of mind they will use to kind of push another individual into giving way to whatever it is that they're asking, seeking, looking for, wanting, demanding. Just pay attention to it. When emotional intimacy is established, that is our vulnerable spot to possibly being manipulated. That's all. Just be, just do um, regular inventory on the people that you keep in your life. Why do you keep them in your life? What's the benefit of the relationship? Is it a two-way thing, give and take? Is all the compromise on your side? Um, how, how do they make you feel about yourself? Take regular in inventory. That's if you want to keep yourself safe and you con and you don't want to be being uh, enmeshed or entangled in all kinds of up and down, on and off again relationships, friendships. Just be more conscious of, you know, be critical. Look at them critically. Are they friends that you would want for your children that you're keeping? Are they friends that you would be cool with your sister hanging out with? Be critical, okay? Be as picky. What's that saying? Be as picky with your friends as you are with your selfies, right? You don't just post the first selfie that you take, do you? I mean, it must be like, what, the 60th? We're so fussy. No, 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 no. Be fussy with the people that you keep in your life. Again, we're only here for a short time. Do you want to spend it entangled up in toxicity or around amazing people that, you know, there's an equal friendship or relationship and they're healthy minded there's nothing more detrimental to your own mental health than hanging out with toxic dramatic histrionic types of people i mean it's just mind bending and crazy making okay i do hope this video was in some way helpful maybe it wasn't um these are just all in my opinion nobody else's take what you like and leave what you don't um, please consider leaving me a comment, maybe your thoughts, um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.